Hi, this second video is on how to use the chart that we learned to write in the first video to identify major and minor key signatures. So if you've used the rule system before, you're gonna see that this is way easier as long as you write the chart correctly. It's really important that you practice writing this correctly because if you make a mistake on it <laughs> on your test, then you're gonna have a whole lot of wrong answers. So here we go. This key signature has no sharps and no flats, and I'm asking you to tell me what major key this could be and what minor key this could be. So since there's nothing in it, of course that's zero, we come down to our numbers, we find zero. So you see that could be C major or A minor. So there's your answer, C major or A minor. I normally use lowercase for minor, that's not required. The next one, we see we have flats, and there are three of them. Okay, so three flats. We go to the flat side of our number line, and we look for the keys that have three flats. There's number three. So we see it's E flat major or C minor have three flats. So we come back here, putting major at the top in this particular exercise. So E flat major, or C minor. Next, we see we have sharps, one, two, three, four, five sharps. So we go back to our chart. First, make sure to get on the right side. You're on the sharp side. We want five sharps. We see that's B major or G sharp minor. Okay, so B major or G sharp minor. And finally, this is just an error on my part, but we have one, two, three, four, five flats. So we go over to the flat side. Here's the flat side. We want five flats. So they could be D flat major or B flat minor. So D flat major or B flat minor. Before we wrap up this short video, some students prefer using the rule method. So I'll just point out that the rules work for this also. You get the same results. In the rules, we learned that no flats or no sharps is the key of C, so you would get that. If you go down three half steps from C, one, two, three, you end up on A. The rules dealing with flats tell us that the flat before last tells us the name of the major key signature, which it, indeed it does. And remember, when going from major to minor, you go down three half steps, so you would find E flat on your keyboard. One, two, three, you end up on C, C minor. The rule for sharps tells us that a half step above the last sharp gives us the name. So the last sharp is an A sharp. If you go up a half step, you end up on B. Okay, there's A sharp, up a half step, you end up on B. So the name would be B major. To figure out its relative minor, you go down three half steps, one, two, three. Could be G sharp or A flat. Since there are sharps in the key signature, we go with G sharp. And then finally, for those of you who like rules, one, two, the flat before last tells us the name. The flat before last is indeed D flat. And then to figure out the relative minor, you find D flat on the keyboard. One, two, three half steps down. That could be A sharp or B flat. Since we have flats, we need to go with B flat. I don't recommend using this method. It's cumbersome and there's a lot of room for error. I think the chart method is easier. Okay, uh, a couple of more videos coming up. Thank you.